شاء الله بنهاب البروجرام هير توداي فروم 1 تو 7 اباوت حلال اند ميس وكل شاء الله يا وش ان شاء الله كلامي خطيره اتفضل He wanted to honor them and host them in his city. Uh, so the king sent to them a ship with a guide. And the guide uh, would take them to the city of the king. And on their way to the city of the king, they would stop by an island in the middle of the uh, sea or ocean. So the, they lived across the ocean from the king. And the guide. Uh, with the ship went over to their city to invite them to the king's city, but on their way they would stop by an island for rest. And they were told that uh, the stop at this island will be from uh, dawn to sundown, and they were given instructions. So the guide told them that uh, they need to pack as much, uh, as many jewels as they can from that island. That island is full of jewels. And they need to pack as many jewels as they can because the king would honor them, would reward them for every jewel they collected from that island. So some of those people, you know, they knew that the, the, the rest uh, you know, on this island will be from dawn to sundown and at sundown the guide told them that no one will be allowed to stay behind. Everybody will have to board the ship one more time to continue their journey to the city of the king. So those people uh, after they dispersed some of them waited for some more time with the guide to ask the guide about the type of jewels that are most uh, appreciated by the king. And some of them went right away to collect as many jewels as they can. They know that it is limited time and they just want to collect as many jewels as they can. And some of them decided to sit by the shore for some time to take like a, a little rest and they started to uh, sort of play you know and, and have you know some leisurely activities they chatted, they played they swam a little bit etc. Some of them uh, started to build uh, little shades because they, they felt that it would get sunny, uh, you know, by noon. So they started to build the little shades. Uh, so they would build the shades from, you know, leaves of trees and, and so on. And some of them <coughs> uh, decided to take a nap uh, so that they can get refreshed and then they wake up and they collect. Uh, you know, as many jewels as they could. Uh, some of them decided, some of them started to fight with one another. Some of them started to fight with one another. And some of them did what, what the, the only thing that was prohibited for them 
to do is to uh, walk to the palace of the king on that island. The king had a palace on that island that is considered his sanctuary. And the guide told them that you could do, go wherever you want on this island, just stay away from that palace, and he pointed it out to them. But they got so furious, some of them got so furious and started to walk over to that palace. And the closer they get to the palace, the more interested they become in it because it looks so tempting and alluring. So they get closer and closer and closer until they mount the fence of that palace. Once they mount the fence of that palace, they see inside things that are so uh, alluring and then they jump inside and those got caught uh, well, after they jumped inside because that is the palace that has the harem of the king, Harim al -Mari. So basically that tells the story of our lives because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent us a guide which is the Prophet <laughs> And the Prophet told us that we are here for a limited time on this island and then we will be taken by force uh, to, to uh, continue the journey. No one will be allowed to stay behind. And some of us decided to spend this a little bit more time with the Prophet ﷺ to learn about which jewels are best to collect, which actions, which deeds are most pleasing to Allah <coughs> how we should do them, uh, when we should do them, and uh, the, the, the best form in which they should be done. And those are the people who sought knowledge so that they can be discerning and they can do whatever is best in, a, in <coughs> the right time, in the right place, in the right circumstance. And those are the people who will be able to discern between the different types of jewels and they are not just going to be packing stuff in their backpacks, you know, that is more like stones than jewels. The people who were too uh, much in a hurry are now bad, the worshippers that don't learn. They're in too much of a hurry. They want to just collect the jewels. At times, unfortunately, they, they look for anything that shines, and then they start to pack anything that shines, which may not be a true Jew, uh, and they just start to pack them. The, the, the people who started to play at the shore and started to make castles of sand and swim and do this and that are the people who are all about fun in this dunya. They want to have fun and fun and fun in this dunya. So those people are going to be, you know, playing uh, with castles of sand and every time they build one, the waves come on and you know bring them down, uh, and, and, and they are in vain. Uh, the people who started to <clears throat> build their own shades are the people who were interested in an establishment in this area. They build their uh, little shades. And then they compete with one another. Everyone wants to build a better one, a better shade, and so on. And those are the people who are into, you know, accomplishment in this dunya, which is not a bad thing as long as you're conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But there are the people who want to collect, you know, money and power and status in this dunya and to keep on building here, although it is just such a short uh, transition and then they will have uh, to leave. Uh, and the people who cannot represent those amongst us that are too lazy to do anything. They cannot interested in working for the dunya or the deen. As, you know, Allah uh, Rasul said, I like the frivolous people that are not in, involved in uh, you know working for the dunya or working for the deen they're just hanging out so those are the you know the, the couch potato lazy people that are uh, not doing either this or that they're just uh, there and the, the 
the worst type of those people are the people who were told about the sanctuary of the king and has the hair of the king and they walked to them. Those are the people who violated, transgressed, they compromised Maharimullah, they violated Hadudullah, and they fell into the ma'asi of the, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had warned them from. Uh, but yeah, it is quite tempting. The closer you walk to this palace, the more tempted you become to get even closer and closer and closer. And once you get to the fence, it is almost impossible to keep yourself from jumping in because of what you will see behind uh, the fence. So that's why you have to stay away from Maharimullah and from Hadudullah. Uh, but at the end of the day, everybody was uh, taken by force uh, to board the, the ship. And no one was, was uh, allowed to stay behind. So it is, it's a nice parable that Imam Al-Qadamah uh, gave us in this book of Al-Sayyid. And, and uh, we should contemplate uh, which group we would like to be of and uh, what is it that we want from, from our life. Uh, this is basically it. You know, think of those groups and think of their accomplishment and see where you want to belong. Exactly what I was talking about.